Hello and a peculiar Swede. And uh, uh, I think I need to um, explain some things because um, some things has uh, happened since last time. And uh, yes, Ralph again, um, like uh, in the Halloween special, uh, uh, my best friend. Um, you're gonna understand why pretty soon. And um, the thing is, um, I have been there. For um, technically speaking, uh, for about 50 minutes, um, because um, I had um, my heart was uh, going on uh, like um, do, 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 for a long time, so I called an ambulance and um, I had a heart stop. I um, I was, um, technically speaking, dead for 15 minutes, and uh, here's the beautiful thing that um, uh, I have uh, played a lot of video games and um, watched a lot of movies and TV series and such things. So I have this idea in my head that uh, when I um, go to get uh, someone back to life, they use uh, those two uh, white uh, square of the filibrators. And um, I saw my fell from the roof, the ceiling of the ambulance. And what I saw wasn't those two uh, things. I saw uh, a Lucas, a big green thing they put uh, in the middle, on the middle of the chest. So uh, I've been outside my body, and uh, this is a true story. And um, without my friend Ralph, you know, I um, wouldn't have gotten that for for uh, for. Yeah. Uh, like uh, to the ambulance. Yeah. Because I wouldn't have called the ambulance without. Uh, and um, will, will you uh, explain what uh, you experienced that night? Yeah, well, for, first of all, uh, it was a fr Friday, and uh, Linus said he had some symptoms uh, <coughs> throat soreness, and he was coughing a little. Uh, and during the COVID pandemic, uh, it was very important to tell him to go test himself, take tests, see if he was infected by COVID. I also told him not to work the coming week. Uh, and then he got a little bit better, but then things got worse. And... Uh, uh, well, it was, I think it was Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, and he started complaining about certain problems and difficulties with, uh, with digestion and bathroom uh, issues. issues and stuff like that, and heart palpitations, and, and then this was, this was a Monday. The next week, and usually, it's not that often I call Linus on Monday. I was at my parents' place, at my parents' house, and then I was in that room upstairs where I spend my time when I'm alone in my parents' house, and then so suddenly this extremely odd shockwave hit me. It was like the whole the whole room was vibrating and a shockwave hit me. Uh, like a tsunami but made of air. And it, I instantly took my cell phone and called Linus. And when he answered, he said, well, first of all, he didn't answer right away because the, his cell phone was out of reach for him, so... It was uh, pl plugged in. Because yeah, the, uh, it was, he was <laughs> charging it, so... Yeah. But then I called again, or did you call me back? I don't know which... I don't anyway. remember already. But... That, that's why you should have done this immediately when I came back. Yeah, but at the moment, <laughs> when Linus answered the phone, 
It was like, ah, 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 I, 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 I can't breathe. I, I. You, you remember that scene from uh, Terminator 2, The Judgment Day, with uh, that black dude? Um, Dyson. Dyson, Dyson, like a Dyson sphere. Yeah, uh, Dyson, uh, who died. Uh, that, that trigger for, yeah, for yeah. the bombs. Uh, Hold on. No, no. Boom! Epic explosion. Yeah. That was awesome. But anyway. He sounded like Dyson. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What we got the explosion. And uh, uh, which also triggered the raspberry extinguishers. Uh, <laughs> that. Will not translate well. No, I know, but the the Hallows uh, slackers. Hey, so. on, uh, whatever. Anyways, uh, and so I told Linus, call one one two, which is nine one one in 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 Europe, and I told him just to take his stuff, his wallet, his uh, credit cards, his phone. Phone charge, cell phone, cell phone charger. Yeah, thanks for making me do that mistake. <laughs> yeah. uh, the thing is that uh, all those things, uh, my uh, bank card and uh, the keys and uh, yeah, the, uh, they disappeared during my uh, ambulance thingy. So, uh, but uh, yeah, I, I know it, it, you. You are thinking completely right. Yeah, think. yeah, yeah. But the most important thing was for Linus to call. The paramedics. And after I, I tried to call him back, and there was no reply, there was no reply. And I was like uh, 60 kilometers or uh, 40 miles away from Linus, where my parents are, so I, I couldn't check on him. But I assumed that that meant that, that the ambulance picked him up. And uh, that was confirmed the morning, day after. So. He, he, he made it in the last second. If, uh, if that shockwave didn't hit me, and Linus would be too late to call the 911, he wouldn't be sitting here right now. Now, I cannot explain what this shockwave was. Maybe some telepathic thing, or maybe some yeah. other force. But something was really different uh, that I have never experienced before. So I'm just glad you're here and you're. Hey, you have a hard. Yeah, was, uh, yeah. <coughs> like, yeah. Uh, uh, well, it wasn't just you. I mean, was it ambulance personnel? It was the yeah, or yeah. the boy. It was. But and, you're here. But hey, yeah. Whatever it was, yeah. contacted you. Before yeah, anybody true. else, he didn't try my mom. I said somebody dad. called me to call you. Yes, yeah, yes. So that uh, it was um, several, dif um, yeah. several different um, factors, factors yeah. that um, different uh, all, yeah. entities, beings that actually saved my life that uh, yeah. night, and then. Um, uh, it, it, it was a close one because I was um, uh, flatlined for like 15 minutes and uh, only 10% of those uh, who that happens to. Yeah. And they were not talking uh, 15 minutes, they are talking flatlining at all. Yeah. Survives. And um, yeah, a lot of them, most of them, end ends up with uh, brain damages. Yeah. And... Um, I mean, I'm still peculiar, but, um, <laughs> but uh, it's like, um, I'm not more peculiar than I was So, before. can you just, you said, you said you saw yourself from the ambulance, from above. looking down at your body. Yes, and, and my, my uh, instinctive thought was that <laughs> when I woke up later, and I remember that, I, I thought that uh, there must have been like, a <laughs> Big mirror in the ceiling of the ambulance. I remember because you asked me, Ralph, do they have big mirrors on the ceiling in ambulances? And I said, what would be the point of having that? So the only explanation which you came to the conclusion later was that you saw yourself from above. Yeah. So, uh. Because I, I asked, even asked the nurse, uh, like, um, 
If uh, she knew if there was uh, like a mirror in the ceiling or the ambulance, and uh, she said, um, "No, I, I don't think there is." And then, I mean, and then I realized that, hey, what if like you have been hit by a car and uh, half your face is off or something, and then you look up in the ceiling and see that? I mean, uh, that alone could kill some kill someone. Yeah, but so, if your soul, of course, there's no mirror in the ceiling. <laughs> but if your soul from above looks at that fe missing face, that wouldn't kill you because you're already dead. Exactly. So... Uh, in a way it could kill you because uh, it make, uh, might make the soul think like, Oh, hell no, I'm not going to go back to... This one is going to die. That, that was the noise. Uh, that beep! That was uh, my phone uh, dying. Uh, so, uh, that, that, that came at a very bad timing, so I'm just gonna put it in um, and uh, give it some uh, freaking life support and <coughs> that sounds like a bad deal. It was a joke, but uh, it's, it needs... Anyway, um, yes, I hear you darling. So, <laughs> it's a uh, very old, 24 years old, I mean, uh, <laughs> not a kid anymore. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, and uh, here's, here's the weirdest part, and uh, this is what I probably should even say. That's why I've been drinking some grown up juice uh, to get a bit braver. But um, <laughs> I uh, used a thing with the Magic 8 Ball I have been talking about uh, in an earlier video, and um, actually went to the end to the house and asked, because I was feeling really bad, I asked am I going to die tonight? and uh, I just got weird answers uh, every time, and then I just gave up and uh, I opened one of those little bathroom windows on the front of the house and uh, it was like um, the force just just uh, the, the window just got off my finger and tsh, and it was like there was something in the house. And then when I asked again if I was gonna die tonight, it was just yes. And uh, in that state of mind I was in just then because I was really, really sick. Uh, everything was shutting down in my body. I mean, uh, I have a nasty wound here on my hand that still isn't perfect. And uh, a lot of uh, parts on my hands and the one on my, uh, my the, the foot uh, had uh, turned into uh, like uh, necrosis when the skin started to die. And uh, that was because everything in my body was shutting down. Because my heart was, well, going, going apart basically almost. So like working so hard that we would um, just stop working very soon. Yeah. So, uh, so complete organ failure. Yeah, yeah, so I'm actually uh, very happy I have uh, all my body parts uh, still here. I mean, this this thing was in a very big, bad shape. Uh, it was necrosis from here up um, over my finger. I uh, could, uh, I should have uh, done a disclaimer at the beginning of this video because uh, but uh, yeah, I could more or less just pull the skin off. And so now we are back hmm? and uh, to all those who think that uh, there is no continuation after after death yeah uh, <coughs> there, there is a <coughs> continuation um, Absolutely, that's, that's the positive message which was happened to me. That um, if you die, there will be something after that. Because um, I never seen a Lucas before, I never seen that thing that was on my chest. And uh, to be frank, I mean, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, there's still small scars of a, I don't know if I can get it, uh, 
Oh, oh yes, uh, this one. Um, uh, it's uh, never completely over when something like this happens. Uh, um, it says, I am under continuous treatment with um, warfarin sodium. This agent reduces the of the blood. Varon. So, um, it's, even if it would have been absolutely perfectly sober, it's like uh, <laughs> saying quantum was sold. Which, by the way, was no, no, a really, really, really bad Bond movie. Uh, uh, actually, I don't even count uh, the Daniel Craig Bond movies as three Bond movies. They are uh, more like uh, uh, Born Supremacy or something. I don't know. Or Mario turned the city bus into a shit house. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, <laughs> so, uh, uh, anyway, um, uh, and oh, uh, by the way, that, that's really important. Um, I don't know, because there's a lot of uh, light from outside, because this is Sweden, and it's summer, and even if uh, the clock is like. Um, um, a moment, please. <coughs> Nine in that uh, evening. It's still very uh, much uh, sunny outside. So it may not be visible, but um, if it is visible, there's a nice little skull. That's because I uh, got an ICD now. It's like a pacemaker, but uh, if the heart is getting uh, like over accelerated, it uh, gives a little kick to the heart, so it uh, calms down. And um, so, basically, I have a pacemaker now, which is uh, kind of annoying, but uh, also a uh, possible life lifesaver. So, uh, yeah. it's a good thing, and uh, it's not because I've been a very unhealthy person. Uh, it turned out that I shake out my heart that it's um, possible that I have. Um, Heart condition that um, is from like when I was a small kid or when I was born. Genetic. Genetic, genetic. Yes, and um, that's um, so it's not my fault. Uh, like, okay, I could have been a. Maybe it wouldn't have happened if I would have been a more um, athletic, more uh, running around and uh, uh, person. And uh, not dealing with demonic entities and uh, shit like that. Um, so, um, uh, but uh, anyway, it happened. It happened, and um, that that's also the thing uh, because this is important to know that um, this also means that uh, I'm off duty for a while um, because okay. um, it, I, I, it's not uh, a good idea in my condition right now. I start working again. That means a Lego, Lego project. Yes, I was coming to that. Um, I already told one guy, uh, like on my YouTube channel, that uh, there will be a part three and a part four with um, Wayne Manor, that cave, and uh, also uh, I promised another guy that um, I will um, <clears throat> do separate videos with all the bat vehicles. Now I won't do that because that that will be a lot of videos, small videos, but. Uh, I will incorporate that with good light. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, first of all, I need better energy. Of course. To, uh, because uh, I'm not good at computers. Uh, I, I'm like a uh, Finstone or something. I mean, uh, yeah, you, 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 you saw the phone, for, for Christ's sake. It's, uh, it's like uh, ancient. Um, I could have picked up a bonus when I talked to that. But, um, um, I don't have much money to buy Lego with, and um, because uh, I'm not working right now, uh, sure I got uh, some money, but not much, and uh, I haven't got a new uh, like uh, car to take out uh, money from an ATM. Um, I don't even know how much money I actually have, uh, so my mom had to get me uh, constantly right now um, until I get that. And it takes uh, a long more time because uh, I lost my legitimation. Uh, like, uh, yeah. I lost everything in that uh, freaking ambulance. Um, 
that doesn't mean that I'm uh, super pissed off at uh, guys in the ambulance because they also saved my life. Uh, but um, it's uh, it's very annoying. So uh, and um, <clears throat> uh, most of my uh, labor I buy in Denmark, uh, which is uh, I, I live in Sweden, like da in the peculiar Sweden. Uh, and um, that still means um, I need to show my legitimation if I'm going over to Denmark. So, and also without money, more or less, yeah, it, um, that doesn't work. Um, but um, there will be continuations. Oh, it, yeah, it just takes uh, even more time than usually because uh, I'm not not not, uh, not really a YouTuber. Uh, it's very new to me with computers and um, like uh, using them for uh, contacting others. Uh, like uh, it's a uh, all new universe, all new world for me. Yeah. Um, and uh, that's still the uh, least important thing because uh, that that's like. Ralph brought up uh, earlier that there's a very fantastic message with this, uh, that, um, and that, that there's an awful life, yeah. there's uh, something for me, and I don't know uh, about God and Lucifer and um, uh, all demons and Balak and such, uh, like, you know, the nun from the Quadrant and such things. But, um, there are things beyond uh, this reality. I know that uh, before as well, but um, this is the first time I know that we, living humans, here on Earth, as a soul. And that's, um, that's, that's super important to know. And comforting. And, and uh, extremely comforting. So, um, well, I, I guess that's uh, that's all. We will always exist, and Lego will always exist. <laughs> yeah, Lego is too good yeah. to die, just like Chuck Norris. <laughs> because uh, it's awesome. Absolutely. Yeah. Chuck Norris is awesome. We all know that. Alright. I think it's, uh, this is all for now. Um, like, uh, what do I, um, ah, that way. Okay. Goodbye.